Now, Ben and Jerry's is renowned for its flavor names like Cherry Garcia, Imagine World Peace, or Caramel Sutra. Recently, in celebration of the legalization of gay marriage in Vermont, the company renamed Chubby Hubby to Hubby Hubby. Ben & Jerry's tries to make social responsibility central to its business strategy, but how does one build a successful, values-driven company and deliver for its shareholders? Joining us now in studio is Ben & Jerry's CEO, Walt Fries. Thank you so much for coming in. My pleasure, Scar. Ben & Jerry were hippies when they founded the company in 1977, but uh -huh. since 2000, the company has been owned by Unilever. Yes. How has that takeover affected your company's mission of social responsibility, both positively and negatively? Absolutely. Well, first of all, let me tell you, one of the nice things about Unilever is it is a socially and environmentally progressive company. It's one of the few uh, multinationals that's actually approved for investment by the Calvert Fund. Mm. So if you were going to be a small entrepreneurial values-led business and be acquired by a multinational, Unilever was the multinational you wanted to be acquired by. Okay. Uh, we also are given a, a fair degree of autonomy by Unilever, so we both have a function where we report into Unilever itself, and I report into an independent board of directors, only which of, there, there's one representative from Unilever. I see. So you see there's a balance, and that board of directors is responsible for the brand equity and social mission. So it really maintains the integrity of the brand while at the same time helping to drive growth and, growth and profitability for Unilever. Now, has your company changed Unilever's business values? Have you made the parent company more active in any way? I think we've evolved together. From the very beginning, Unilever said, we want you to keep us on the outer edge of our comfort zone. So at Ben & Jerry's, we're really good at that. You know, what we really seek to do is to lead with progressive values in the areas of social and economic just, uh, justice, the environment, world peace. Um, and Unilever has been very much at the forefront of issues environmentally, like sustainability. Okay. Uh, so we've actually uh, pushed Unilever in some areas, and in some areas they've actually rooted us on and encouraged us to do more and uh, you know, and, and to bring it to life in the world. What did Unilever say about hubby hubby? Uh, Unilever actually applauded it. You know, and uh, what they did was they said they applauded it not because they took a position as a corporation themselves, but because they said this is Ben and Jerry's being Ben and Jerry's, mm -hmm. and we want you to be that independent values-led business you've always been. Now that change to hubby hubby, are you hoping to increase awareness, uh, change minds, or just celebrate the legalization? Yo, ben & Jerry's is out to both run a great business and to create progressive change. And when we made that change, it was truly for reasons related to our social mission, which was to celebrate the fact that um, a group that was not always um, granted the equal status in the, in, in the country uh, was recognized and to celebrate that. Now, uh, a lot of questions have been raised, though, about Ben & Jerry's efforts to do that, about whether food should be politicized. Um, some people question whether this is the best focus of your efforts. Yeah, and, and here's where we come out and say every business has values. You know, we look around at what's happening to the world today and particularly what's happening to the economy. There's a high cost to the value of greed. At Ben & Jerry's, we believe that we can not only run a terrific business, but we can do it by leading with our values. And that means that our values are injected into every single decision we make, whether it's buying from small family farms, whether it's how we source fair trade ingredients, whether it's moving to, to genetically modified free um, uh, ingredients and sourcing, whether it's paying a livable wage mm. to our employees, all those things matter and make a difference in the world. And we think you can do both, and it's a responsibility of business to be a positive agent of change in the world. If that's the case, why is Hubby Hubby a temporary name? Why not make it a permanent change? Well, it's one of those things that we do because we can do quickly, and this was something that, of course, happened quickly in Vermont. We can very quickly make a temporary change, put it into our scoop shops, make that celebration and get the word out. Now, in terms of whether or not we would ever consider an ongoing flavor, it's possible. Uh, for all these things, we keep an open mind, and one of the nice things about being a small entrepreneurial business is we can be quick to respond to what's happening in the marketplace and quick to respond to what's topical and we is aligned with our values. 
Okay, very quickly here. In May, you posted an opening for one of the ultimate dream jobs, a uh, flavor guru. I'm interested. <laughs> uh, what, what kind of responses have you gotten? We've gotten fabulous responses, funny responses, engaging responses. Uh, Is we, it in New York? Uh, no, it's in Vermont. So you get bucolic Vermont, only an hour's, hour's uh, flight away from, uh, from New York. And... Uh, it's uh, it's absolutely a fabulous job. In fact, uh, Fortune magazine called uh, 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 the the job of head of uh, flavor development at Ben and Jerry's the best job in the United States. And when do you hope to fill it by? So we hope to have it filled uh, very shortly. Okay, sounds fact. good. So, Thank you so much, Walt Fries, the CEO of Ben and Jerry's, here with us in the studio.